Hello! In this video we are going to be making my new Witch's Cauldron pop-up card. As you can see I have set it out very similar to how it is set in out in Design Space. So in Design Space we've got pieces of the cauldron and then the other pieces. These are the front facing, going front to back and these are left to right pieces then the witchy pieces and then the card base over here. This piece is the front of the card if you want the front of the card or not. I have done this on this sample. So let's go back to the overhead camera. So to start off with we are going to glue on the witch's legs so her feet to get my glue stick going to use a fret stick I'm going to glue on the feet so we've got the front and the back feet so to make sure they are right to the end otherwise they won't fit inside our card and then we can Put the glue on that side. And fit the two fit the two together. I'm gonna to do the same for the other foot. Draws right to the end. It's going that way. And we stick. We have the foot on. So now we need the top of his top of her, sorry. Boots. And you leave a little gap so you can see between. And then turn it over and do the same again for the other side. Make sure it matches up to the one you've put already stuck on the other side. Stick that one on. So now he's got got our two boots on both sides now we're going to stick on this is like her bottom as she's upside down in the cauldron so we're going to make sure we're really stuck down This one as well, and line those two up. You could put some stripes on her tights if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave her blank with our orange tights. So for the two middle pieces, so these are going to go at the front, so it's facing you. So you're going to 
pop her in about there. So this bit is like the bottom of a dress and that's the bottom and her legs sticking up. So we can stick stick her on there. And you can stick these two pieces of the cauldron together. Make it a bit easier when you come to Sure, it all lines up. So, so that is your middle cross section. It's going to face you as you open the card. So, while that is drying, we can do her hat. So, her hat, she's got the band, the ribbon that goes around, and a pumpkin. So, the pumpkin is in two pieces the green and the orange. So, we'll put the ribbon on first. Oop. So, that just goes below where it's cut. So, it just lines up. There we go. Now we can place our pumpkin. I'm going to do the orange bit first and stick that to the green. Stick that to the green pumpkin. So it all lines up. And then we can stick that on her hat. Like that. There we go. And we can get the broom stuck together as well. Her broom, the witch's broom. So we've got your two broom heads. I'm going to stick the smaller one on top of the bigger one. So it gives it just a, an outline, an offset. And there we go. There we go. So that's the two together. Oof. We've then got I'll pick it up. Broomstick. Now the broomstick needs to go, this one has a hole in it, so this broomstick needs to go in that hole. You might want to put just a little bit of glue on the end. Just to keep it in place. So just a little bit of glue on there keep it in place and that is going to stick slightly off to give it an edge on one side of that oval so it looks like that so I'm going to put glue on this bit and then we're going to stick that black On, so you can see. Then that is going to stick on the top of our knot. And there we have our broom or mop. All stuck together. So 
Now these are the bubbles coming out of the cauldron. So I've already stuck these and you match them up. Once you've cut them all out you need to match your bubbles up. So I've just got these last two. So you're sticking a smaller green, lighter green on top of a darker green and it gives it an edge. So an offset. I'm not going to do the same with that just yet. My computer's switched itself off, that's not good. And I'm having trouble matching it up. There we go. That one goes on top of there. Um, actually, I could stick that on there. I'm going to stick it on. So all glue on the back. And this is like the puddle from the cauldron. And that is going to stick on. Then it has got an offset again, a little edge all the way around. There we go, and it should still fold. So it have got the fold score lines down the middle. down the middle of there. Make sure it opens and closes okay. Uh, right, we don't need the glue for the now. Put the lid on there. Right, fun part, putting it all together. So, we start with the middle pieces. So the biggest cauldron pieces. So you find the middle slot and you'll see that it's slightly wider on this bottom left to right piece. So because this is thicker, it needs a thicker slice. So it's a thicker slot. So count one, two, three in. So the middle slot on both is where they cross and they just slide into each other like that. So they slot into each other. So then you get the next, doesn't matter, you can then you can do the top or the bottom. We'll go left to right first. So we'll do the bottom row, but not the top row. Do the bottom row, and that's your left to right. So on the left, so it goes for the second one in. And we slot that in. And then the one with the tabs, because it's going to go in this tab here. So we're going to slot that one in. So they're all going on the middle slot these bottom ones are all going on the middle slot then. so again this bottom row now we're going towards the right middle slot in the next one on here and the last one middle slot going into that one So we've got all the left to right pieces in. Now we're going to go 
uh, we'll go back to front. So, so this side is your back and this side is your front. So that one is a front piece with the other tabs is a front piece. So again, lining up those middle slots. So the next, I turn those sideways. You can see the next slot on that middle piece is going to be the middle one on there. The middle one's coming up, push them back up. Right, turn it this way. Make sure that middle one is in. Take this one, so this one is going in that last slot. It's going in the last slot. And the two outer ones are all very tiny slots on the outer bits. And it should all sit nicely. So that was the back. So now I need to do the front. So that was the back of the cauldron. Wait, there we go. Now we're going to do the front. This one. Try and keep those separate. Slot that in. It's gone better this time. There we go. And then the last one with the tabs at the front is going in this last slot. Sure, those little ones are slotted in at the corners. There we go. And then check that it all folds. So, it should look like that on the bottom. sticking out of the cauldron. And this is the front. That stands up. 
Oh, oh, that one's not quite in. There we go, now it is. They're all in. Just going to check. Yeah, they're all in. Right, we can pop it now inside. So, front two slots. Front two slots go in there. Tabs, sorry, go in those two slots because there's two tabs. Go in. That's locked. So when you turn it over, got two in that one, and you should have two in the other one. So there we go. Now I've got two in that one. So two and two. So then it folds. on both sides and then when you open it up you've got two like that so then when it opens it should open and pop up so we can stick those in place now You can either tape them down or you can glue them down. So then it pops open. and closes and you're ready to stick it inside your card so this is the card and flip it over that's our outside and these are going to sit inside I'm going to switch to Yoohoo Glue. It dries a bit quicker and it sticks a bit better, I think, than they. Put stick glue. Oop. Going to come out a lot now. I've given it a good squeeze. Let's put the lid on quick. So you just give yourself a little bit of a board around the edge of the card. side Now you are ready to put your witch's cauldron inside your card. So now you need to make sure you place it somewhere where the feet will stay. Because if I went too far down this way, her feet are sticking out at the edge of the card. But she can go. She can go about there. Like 
So, what I tend to do put glue on one side. Fold it right into the middle, press it right into the middle fold, and then flatten it down, turn it over. That is stuck on that side, now we need to put glue on this side. Fold it over again. And the ice cream van outside. And there we have our cool witch's cauldron. Popping up the way around. So if I over close it. I open it up, she pops up. Now we need to finish it off. And there's oh, some bats in the corner. One in that corner. And then and then this corner. Oh, can't fill up. There we go. Nope. There we go. One in that corner. Oops. There we go. And one this corner. And we need to put a broom, though she's just dropped it as she's fallen in. And a hat. Let's do the hat first. Blue strings and the broom, the blue one, and the broom. Oops, come. Now we can add some bubbles to the cauldron. And on the floor where it's spilt. So let's have a bubble here. Let's put one on. Doesn't really matter where you put the bubbles, you can put them where you like, where you think they would fall. On the cauldron. Another one on the cauldron here. So it's bubbling over. Mm -hmm. 
Some around the back, so I've got some on the front. Let's put some around the back. Bigger ones at the top, and then smaller ones a bit further down on the cauldron, I think. Oops. Stick. Stick as many on as you like, really. Um, so that's on the back. I might stick another one on the front here. on the ground and on the glue make sure that all stuck cauldron can't angle it, there we go front and the back that's better so from the front And, and it should open quite close. Nice. So, more bits of glue string. Open and close. Lovely witch falling in her cauldron. Thank you for watching.